All right, Captain Mike, here we are. Welcome to my humble abode, but it ain't just humble to me. How long have uh, you been on the street? Seven years, roughly. Okay. Uh, many a flop house, many a poor room, and no privacy, nothing like this. I'm sleeping in your car and... I'm sleeping in my car, sleeping in the bush, in the woods, but thanks to you, Robin. Well, a lot of a lot of people work together to get you here, man. Oh my goodness! I so, didn't know. oh, it's so cool in oh. here. The air conditioning works great. Oh. How, how do I have to wait for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh, it's been a long, long time coming. And you can you got a nice view here out the window and. Oh yeah. You can look right down there and see your, your hearse. And magically I wanted the one in the corner because I wanted the one in the corner. And it came that way too. And I wanted to be up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to be above it a little. And isolated. I don't have no papers on that side. Oh, I can write and paint a little up here. Mm -hmm. So you've got a... I will abide by the rules of the Look, it's a, it's a house for a woman. Oh my God. It's a, you know, I used to live in a big mansion. <laughs> and seven years on the streets. This is a mansion. Mm -hmm. This is a ball. Oh. All right, Captain Mike. Well, listen, um, I'm going to get you an air mattress Thank so you. that you so that you're not going to sleep on the floor. Uh, and, uh, and we need to see about... Um, I'm going to see what I can do about getting you a little bit more permanent permanent furniture situation. Um, you know, and we should probably hit some thrift shops or something like that. Look at that backpack, brother. This has been my fucking home for several years. A fucking backpack. This is good. This is good. Yeah. But my backpack is still living. Mm -hmm. And facing you and others. God knows it. I guess you know more than I do. Well, you're home now, man. Tell the streets ain't got me. But the hell almost got me. And but I see them out there. I see them out there getting got. But they got to fight. They got to try to mm -hmm. work. Well, to me, it's all a miracle. But it was my intention over four years ago. And you know, I had that little legal problem. And poverty is in itself a big problem, you know. Let's try to help other poor bastards. All right, well, we got you situated. That's what. And, and maybe we can move on to the next, to the next guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll push it along. All righty. Well, this is, Cap this is Captain Mike. Saying, God, thank you. Through Robin Hood, my hero. You're the best lawyer. Until I met you, I didn't really know a lawyer. God bless you. Well, th thank you, Captain Mike. But a lot, a lot of people work together to, uh, to take care of you and, and, and get you in here. So, and, uh, and, and we're going we're gonna to keep up with you. And, uh, and we're going to see who else we can, we can help, all right? Uh, and I've got to... Do better to show you you deserve this. You sort of put me in a corner, and you painted me in a corner. <laughs> well, it's a it's a good it's a good problem it's a good to have. Corner to be painted in. Woo hey, see, <laughs> I'm not in a dead gum hot flop house tonight, by gum. Right. I, I got to get a blanket or something. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna get you a. Uh, we're gonna get you a uh, an air mattress and a sleeping bag or a blanket. Uh, and got washing machines down there, and they don't cost much. All right. All right. I'm gonna turn off the camera now, Captain Mike. All right. And by the way, just let them know if they keep on trying, God will help you. Good men. <laughs>